A lot of focus on restocking right yes. now. Are you seeing incoming orders? Uh, we are, we're working with the DOD on, on orders as, uh, as the demand shows up. Um, obviously, restocking is important to everyone. And uh, if you look at any part of the munitions uh, portfolio, whether it's ours or even broader, uh, there's opportunity to do better and to restock. So that is an area of opportunity for us and a focus for us right now. The portfolio has has had its fair share of challenges. Yes. Um, you've hosted a number of charges across a number of programs over the last couple of years, um, have been uh, seeing some realized losses. I just want to run through some of the programs of note, starting with Air Force One, sure. to the extent that you can disclose where you're at in that development and production process. Look, our goal with Air Force One is to deliver two perfect airplanes to the President of the United States. Uh, that is obviously a non-trivial task or a set of tasks and, and a big program and we're working every day to bring stability to the program, uh, looking forward to building those airplanes, uh, looking out into all the risks that we have in front of us. Among the larger programs investors are watching, Colbert discussing the T-7A trainer. Boeing delivered the first jet for the Air Force to begin training. On the unmanned MQ-25 for the Navy, quote, still a lot of work to do to get the schedule stabilized. And on another aerial refueling tanker, the Air Force's KC-46, quote, confident in that program that it's getting stable. I mean, given the fact that there have been hiccups with KC-46 yes. over the years and, and, and some issues, um, the next iteration of competition, Yes. are you still feeling confident absolutely, about that? Absolutely. Lessons learned? you got to think, every hiccup that we've had over the last several years it comes with a set of lessons learned. And those lessons learned feed into our ability to drive stability and productivity and build on that platform going forward. So, uh, so that's learning that we should not all waste. Uh, we should not, you know, uh, see it in vain, and, and we should take advantage of it as we go forward. And that allows to move even faster as we go forward. I have to ask you about commercial crew and Starliner. Yes. When yeah. are we going to see astronauts on board Starliner yes. for that first? Uh, crude flight. So right now we are uh, in progress, uh, getting to end of the first quarter, March, April time frame. Uh, NASA partnered with us. Uh, they've released uh, the window of opportunity there that we're working towards. Everyone's very confident about uh, the, the challenges that got us to moving that date out and resolving those challenges. We've been working with the astronauts. They're excited about uh, flying as well. So uh, we're going to get there. And uh, it's been it's going to be an exciting year for a commercial crew of Starliner. Just this week, uh, news that the U.S. Air Force had eliminated Boeing from its competition to develop the successor to the E-4B uh, Night Watch, mm -hmm. the doomsday plane, the next iteration to survive a nuclear war. Mm -hmm. Comment? Uh, so, look, um, not a lot of comments, but what I will say is uh, that one of the things that is important to me and to our business right now is to be very disciplined about every next contract we propose uh, and we win. And we went into that program with 60 years of experience in delivering commercial derivative aircraft. Um, all of that experience and knowledge went into that proposal. Uh, so as I learn more, I'll learn more about how we got to where we are, but I'm very, very confident in the proposal that we set forward to uh, to the governments. And I realize every competition is, is individual in its own right, but yes. especially uh, coming off of uh, the aggressive bidding that went into some of the programs we just covered, sure, um, sure. And fixed price contracts, how are you thinking about bidding now? Well, look, we're, we're going to bid uh, based on everything that we've learned over the last many years. Um, all of our bids will be based in uh, the realities of our experiences. It'll be based in a set of disciplines that sets us and our customer up for success. Um, and that is the way forward for us. And, uh, and, and we're really confident that we've set ourselves up for uh, the right approach to bidding. And frankly, uh, in some, several cases, uh, our customers learned as well, and the process is adapted to be more agile so that we all uh, don't get ourselves in, in similar situations going forward.